Yo, what's going on everybody? Jamie McDonald here. Uh, long time no see. Last time you saw me, I was sitting in a dark hallway in a hotel in northern Michigan uh, doing just like a little crazy, super informal uh, release video for the OMD EM10 Mark II. Uh, oddly enough, or crazily enough, just a couple of days after that video, while hiking in the back country of northern Michigan, my wife broke her hip. And uh, crazy nightmare vacation from hell, um, emergency hip replacement, like 500 miles from home. Um, total chaos, total nightmare. Uh, so we've been like on the road to recovery from that and she's doing phenomenal now. Actually, I think she's doing better with the new hip than she was before. But um, that's kind of, you know, impacted me as far as time allowed to, you know, put together videos and stuff like that. So she's doing great now and uh, I've got a little bit of free time. So I figured I'd put together a video and the video is about this and this is an EM1 and you're probably thinking, EM1, big deal, you know, it's not like a new camera. Physically, no, it's not like a new camera. Software wise, this bad boy is about to become like supercharged new. Um, basically, what's going on is Olympus has a new firmware update coming sometime in November. This right here, version 4.0, this camera actually has the software on it right now. Um, if you're an OMD owner, especially an EM1 owner, you know that this firmware update is going to drop in November. And uh, I know most people know what the specs are for it or what features are coming to your camera. This isn't bug fixes in this firmware. This is new features added to your camera. So your camera's got like a second life coming to it. Um, and the purpose of this video is I just want to just kind of put an offer out there for those of you who are going to be getting this firmware in November, but are curious about, you know, how certain aspects of that firmware work, um, put those put uh, questions you have in the comments below. I know there are certain things with the firmware update that I'm going to use regularly and like focus bracketing. I'm going to use that a lot. That's just uh, how I shoot. You know, I do a lot of macro and I'm going to use it for landscape photography as well. So focus bracketing is something that I'm going to do. Um, but you might not use that. You might have an interest in something else. And if you have an interest in that something else, put it in the comments below and tell me how you would like to see me demo it or you would like my feedback on how it functions or performs. And then I will go give it a test run and tell you like in real world how it works um, because I'm not gonna use all the features. You're gonna use the camera differently than I will. So I will do my best to use it in a way that you would so that I can answer your questions uh, before the firmware comes out. That way, when it does come out, you kind of already have an idea of what to expect in that firmware. Um, it's the best I can do. I can't give everybody the firmware right now. If I could, believe me, I'd be handing it out because so far um, in the couple of hours that I've been shooting with it, it's performed flawlessly. Um, some of the things that it's you know getting are the focus bracketing, like I mentioned, and it's cool. The EM1 is now going to have a silent shutter as well, and I haven't used that yet. So, um, anyways, I guess the purpose of this video is give me some uh, give me some things you want me to put through its paces, you know, and I'll, and I'll give it a shot the best I can for you. Um, and also, I want to take a minute to talk about something that's coming up in November as well, and it's something that uh, I get to experience every year as part of the Visionary and Trailblazer program, and that's this this summit that we go to the members of the visionary and trailblazer program are all brought to olympus headquarters where we do you know various activities some of it's fun you know we get to hang out and shoot together which is totally cool to hang out with the other members of the group um but one of the one of the really big things it's big for me it's a it's a big honor to be a part of it is that we get this round table discussion where uh, engineers, like R&D people, design engineers, software engineers, what have you, um, come over from Tokyo and we have this discussion and we give feedback on the products, you know, whether it's, you know, design things with the cameras, button placement, um, you know, even things like how the buttons feel or the menu system, um, lens lineup, things like that. We get to give feedback to the people who actually design the cameras and they listen and they take that back to uh, Japan, you know, and things that are uh, viable and valid um, ideas, you know, get put into the works, you know. This firmware update is a perfect example of that, you know. Uh, 
at one of the summits last year or the year before, there was mention of how Fuji constantly keeps sending out firmware updates to their older cameras. You know, they're keeping the people who own like a previous generation camera, you know, happy with cool feature additions, not just like bug fixes and things via firmware. And look what Olympus is doing. Olympus listened, you know, to that feedback at that round table and we're seeing firmware updates, which is super cool to think that, you know, this older camera is basically getting new life. You know, it's, it's cool. So when I go to this round table discussion, I have a couple of things that I want to bring up that some ideas that I have for products that would be really cool. But when I'm there, I want to be able to represent you as well. You know, it's, it's one thing to, to give them my ideas. It's another thing to go and sit at this table and say, look, you know, I've got like a thousand YouTube subscribers or whatever, you know, and like I had a hundred people tell me, you know, these are the things that matter to us that we would like to see in a firmware update. Um, it's cool to give them what you want, not just, you know, my ideas. So in the comment section below, the same place where you would put, you know, things you want to have me demo on the new firmware for you, um, put down some ideas that you have below for me to take to this round table discussion. And what I'll do is, you know, I put together this spreadsheet and the, you know, like the four or five most popular suggestions or ideas that people have, I take to the round table to present. And when I say popular, I don't mean popular as in like, you know, hey, Jamie likes those, those are cool, you know. I just mean if I see the same couple of um, suggestions or ideas mentioned over and over again, you know, then those go in that list, you know. And and when I go to the table, I don't say, hey, this is my idea. I say, you know, I put together um, this spreadsheet based on user feedback and and it's cool, you know, to be able to do that, you know, to say, hey, you know, this is what the end user wants, not just me, not just the other people at this table, but you. Um, so put those ideas down there. And if you know another um, OMD user or Olympus user, it doesn't have to just be OMD, it could be like the pen line or whatever, even the tough cameras, any ideas that you have for any of the product lines, um, put them in the suggestions below or the, the comment section below. And if you know somebody else who's a uh, OMD user or Olympus user, send them over to this YouTube channel and tell them to subscribe, tell them to watch the video, to, to hear my spiel, you know, and have them put their ideas down at the bottom as well, you know, in the comments. Love to take these to the table for you guys. Um, and I guess before I go, um, I'd like to mention that if you're a subscriber to this YouTube channel, you should totally be subscribing to the Mirrorless Minutes Show YouTube channel. Um, for those who don't know, Mirrorless Minutes is a bi-monthly podcast that I do with another member of the Visionary Program, Mike Baining. Uh, he and I get together every other Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we do like a live Google Hangout, and we just talk about, you know, it's mirrorless news, you know, and it's, we have guests on. We've had some pretty cool guests on in the past, and we've got some cool ones lined up. Um, and we just talk about, a lot of th we talk a lot about the Olympus stuff, obviously, because we're both in the uh, the visionary program. But we try to cater to everybody, you know, just photography in general. So if you're subscribing to this channel and watching this video, you should totally head over to the Mirrorless Minutes YouTube channel and subscribe there as well. Uh, there will be a link in the the description of this video below that you can click on to go over there. And I'd also like to recommend you visiting the uh there's a facebook page for us omd users it's the omd worldwide shooters or omd worldwide users i don't remember which one it is either way there will be a link to it below as well i think you should swing over there if you're a facebook user and join that group it's an awesome community you know how us olympus users are we all seem to get along really well it's a really good community to be a part of uh, so i guess i'll wrap it up um again if you have some specific things you'd like me to test out in the 4.0 firmware for you in the comments below. Thanks for the round table discussion for me to take to Olympus in the comments below. Um, subscribe to Mirrorless Minutes podcast. Check us out. We're fun. It's also on iTunes as well. I'll give you a link for that too. Um, and join that Facebook page. Oh, before I go, this summit that I attend for Olympus, that I leave for that on uh, Thursday, November 5th. So if you could have your suggestions for the round table in by like November 3rd, that gives me time to tally up everything in my spreadsheet and have it ready for 
for the roundtable discussion. So you guys take care. Uh, thanks again for tuning in and watching this video. It's totally awesome of you guys. Uh, let's get out there and shoot. I know that's what I'm about ready to do. You guys take care. Bye.